We are back once again with the negotiation Pete secret settings. This is fixed capitals on Europe advanced. We started 12 wins and zero losses in six player games on these settings. We recently had our first loss, so we are 12 and one now. Unfortunately, unlucky number 13 was unlucky number 13. Now I'm gonna be the red player in the fourth position and the way these settings work is they are fixed capitals on Europe Advance with uh, true random dice, making the capitals a little bit more consistent. Now we have alliances on, but no fog, no blizzards and no portals and we have neutral AI. So if you guys have ever played a fixed game of risk and you've had people bought out, you see, how often have you seen everybody kind of ignores the bot and it just takes bonuses and gets bigger and bigger and it swallows the whole map and nobody deals with it. Right? That happens quite frequently. This is very annoying because I was going to cap Burgundy. I had a great cap in here. And that fucks me over. Um, Pink goes after me, so I could cap out here. And probably be safe. Where do I go? White and purple here. Probably go Dyna Rides then. And then go into Orient. Or I go to the top. I feel like people are maybe going to leave... So black still has to cap. He's probably going to cap in noob corner. So black, blue, purple, white, fight down here. And then uh, pink's going to want to cap in the middle. So I kind of want to cap somewhere that's going to leave me alone. I could cap in f up here and then try to take Russia. I, I could cap Dyna Rides, which ensures I probably get this. I'm going to go Romania, actually. Let's go. And then I hope pink goes to my left. And then he fights to the left and I can fight to the upper right. So it's very important to realize what you think people are going to go for. Uh, blue's going to fight here for like France and Spain. White's going to go for Africa and then into Italy, but purple and white are maybe going to get into a confrontation here. Oh, black actually goes here instead of noob corner. That might change pinks. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. Instead of noob corner, he goes for Russia because nobody's really going to contest him for Russia. And pink goes for noob corner then, which leaves me in the middle. I'm going to try to go for Southeastern Europe into the Orient. I want to hold these. I want to kind of... The amount of times I play these settings and I'm like, you don't want to cap in the middle or be in the middle. Well, look at us here. Four of our opponents on the outside of the board. Very well played. And uh, I chose the middle. But uh, I was reading it a certain way, right? I thought black was going to go for a new corner. Almost certainly. Um, why wouldn't you? And uh, Or even like Ryan, like really good opening for black. But he doesn't. And if he did do that, does pink go somewhere here in the middle and try to take this? And then I can do this. And then I do have a... Then there's probably a big fight over here. And this is the middle of the board. But instead, now I'm going to be kind of in the middle. Blue with a god dice to get Spain. Or, what happened here? Seven on one. Six on one. Five on one. Four on one. Three on one. So he just got one, two, three, four, five territories with true random dice on and lost one troop. Perfect, man. Wow. Well, let's ally with purple. My first goal is going to be this plus four to start. Uh, blue really screwed up where I wanted to cap because I would have... I, I was thinking Burgundy or Paris and what would be better. Paris guarantees if anybody breaks me, my cap gets it, but Burgundy gives my cap access. But Paris would make it easier for me to try to take Spain. But where white was capped, I didn't like anyways, so I don't know. He comes across. Did he get smoked on the dice? Yeah, okay. So he rolls 10 on 1. Then he has a 6 on 2, loses 1. And then he rolls a 4 on 2, loses everything. So he actually just didn't get good dice in here. White's going to ignore blue and he's going to go for Africa, okay? If you want to pat this right, you don't hit the purple one to start. You do uh, red one, black one, purple one. Dude, okay. He's not even really doing anything with all that. Cool. So let's go uh, one on my cap and see if I can get this with this. Something like this. And I'll give black a thumbs up. And I'm going to bring this two further away from purple because I'm going to try to get into Orient with it. And then send purple a thumbs up. So this two has the added benefit of two things. Now, if purple adds five troops here, goes boom and then rolls the two, he's more likely to get smoked. And two, if he does, then maybe I can bring that troop into, into Orient. <laughs> right, I didn't really see a fortify that made sense here. Pink is probably going to take this center bonus. If he, if Pink doesn't take the center bonus, I'll probably take the center bonus. 
We'll see what he goes for. Like, this is a very free scenario with him for him. Like, he's going to start with eight troops. You should Nine troops, actually. He, you should put at least three or four on Hungary and take this and fortify this in and maybe the rest on your cap and worry about Noob Corner after. Might want to make sure his cap's... Put the rest on his cap just for safety reasons because uh, in case Black comes off this two and hits it because Black's going to have a big bunch of troops next turn. So Black's actually taking a middle bonus far away from his cat. But, like, he spawned with a great spawn for that, right? Let's be real. All right, Pink gets nine troops. What does he do with them? He could 11v5 my cap. That would be... He just goes straight for noob corner. Doesn't care about the middle. Interesting. Ah, uh, okay, so... Blue, Pink, and Black are here. White here. Purple's going to be behind me. Purple's probably... Purple needs to expand. He's going to want Orient. I might even just have to take this. I might have to go and hit the pink twos out of here. Oh my god. You gotta buff your cap, dude. Oh uh, no. Although we have seen in these settings oh, we have seen in these settings some people are so unbelievably greedy. And they just get left alone. I've seen people and if you've watched earlier games, he's getting punished. But I've watched earlier games of this where other people have just left a three. I, I remember clearly a three cap on Gaskin. I'm like, somebody's gotta take that three cap, and nobody did, and that guy got super strong that game. Pink might already be botting. We'll see. It is neutral AI. Um, first things first. If he does bot, that means it, it's just going to start adding random troops all over the place. And I definitely need to take this bonus out. So that was a mistake. It's You don't overgreed. The first thing you want to do is just be steady, be strong, and then don't get eliminated. Don't lose your cap right away. And then just slowly expand. You don't have to be the fastest expander because the fastest expander probably gets teamed on. So... You just need to get troops and get strong. And then this game comes down to negotiation. This entire game comes to negotiation with alliances. So we played 13 of these games. I've had one go about two hours. That was the game we lost. And I think... No, maybe we had two that went about two hours. The one we lost and then the, the one that made 12 and 0. I don't remember quite. I think one was almost... I think like an hour and 40 minutes were both of them. But the, the other 11 are like 50 minutes, 45 minutes, one hour and five minutes maybe like a 35 minute one or two, like reasonably quick. Oh, purple's quitting. Huh. In this scenario, I actually might want to come down here and line up on his cap instead of this middle bonus. Shit, man. But pink, so, but I want the middle bonus too. I should guarantee the middle bonus, and but the, I'll get less dice. Um, he's gone. This is tough, man. Do I hit this too, or just let it have a chance of adding? I think I, I let it have a chance of adding. And I do this. I think I go for this. Friendly with black. Give him a thumbs up. If I can hold this and get, say, 16 troops and make a 22, I will try to take this. I will do a couple manuals, though. Sorry I'm off one. What is happening? And pink's about to bot. Wait. So who's left? White and blue? Wait, so purple's gone. Gone, gone. Pink probably bought it because he lost his cap and he overattacked. He was a bit of a noob, but too aggressive. So pink and purple are gone. I assume black's coming back. He's huge. Even if he missed that card, it doesn't matter. He's huge. And I'm going to be real with you. I'm, uh, I'm quite okay if black's a bot and it... So if you bot on neutral settings, like just a normal bot, you lag out or you, you close the app or turn your phone off or whatever you do, or shut your computer down. If you just disappear kind of like poof, it um, it does kind of bot you. And then for the next 10 minutes, um, a neutral bot will take your turn randomly to place your, uh, place your troops all over your territories and then skip. It won't attack or anything. And it'll do that for 10 minutes. So for 10 minutes, it just adds your troops all over the place and then passes. And then 
After 10 minutes, you get an MIA flag and you are eliminated and you get last place based on how many people are alive then. So if there's six people and your flag hits, you're six. If there's only four left and your flag hits, you're four. Okay, bad dice on that. That's good. We need blue not to get that. He's also lining up for the purple cap. Can I get him and say thumbs up? Attack blue. If I can convince him to hit this. Yeah, thumbs up. If I can convince him to hit that, that would be great. There's not really a lot of white that can get to me. Right? He's kind of... He's, he, white can't really fuck with me. Oh, yeah. Damn! I thought he was going to hit it. Oh, he does! Yeah! So, oh man, if white and blue fight... Oh, he's just going all in for this bonus, too. Give him a thumbs up. If he gets a terrible roll on this, blue might hold enough to come through the three and take his cap. He can't take the two. You, well, he can make a four cap. Oh, oh. That's okay. Blue doesn't get a ton. I'm going to go hit that purple six cap and see if I can get it. Perfect dice. Perfect, perfect dice, perfect dice, and manual. Sixes. Five, five, two. Okay, I get one off. Six, five. Oh, yes. There's only two troops left. I can blitz it now. Okay, we can do that. And then, uh, what do we do here? Yeah, buff that. We are snowballing now. Now, I think Black's going to return. I, I'm, I'm so confused that he's gone. And, uh, oh, there's also, uh, with neutral AI, there's another thing that happens. Um, if you actually just click settings and you quit this way, which a lot of people do because they, they're just like, I don't like this game. I'm going to go play another game. This immediately flags you and you immediately get last place. You don't even get the 10 minute timer of the bot adding. You just immediately flag. All your territories get highlighted in a weird way. And then you no longer get troops and your, your cards, you're frozen. If anybody kills you, they get the cards that you were holding, but that's it. So neutral AI does prevent a bot from getting over, over strong. <clears throat> Him breaking blue there is great. And then pink also adding a two in London is better. So blue gets 12, 13 on three on four cap. If he succeeds with great dice, white's probably going to bot and I'll be in a 1v1. No. Okay, bad dice? No, good dice. Does he take this too? I may need to start uh, thinking about coming into blue. How much is he? I, I might go burgundy and hit him. Because I'm basically in a 1v1 against blue. White can't hurt me. So And, and white broke Spain. So I want to honor this, right? I want to work with white and go first and second. Purple's officially a bot. Black's officially bought and pink's officially bought. So we'll see how this plays out. White's going to take this bonus now. And I'm going to break blue's London. Now blue might want to come through here and break me, unfortunately. So I probably want to buff this too as well. There he gets it. Buffs his cat back. Okay. I get 21 and a big trade. Oh my god, I can just destroy. I could almost kill white and punch blue, can I? Or take Blue's cap? Hmm. Make this like a, a 10? Oops. Uh, white has... Uh, I'll trade this just to be safe. Make this a 17 and then... Uh, what? Hit some blue with this. And give white a thumbs up. Do what? Uh, one, 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 and now I can. Yeah, I like leaving two in places, but I also want to go this way. All right. That's fine. All right. And then I'll give White a thumbs up and a heart. I have 77 troops. I am uh, pretty big. Now, Blue's hurting. He's going to get eight or nine troops, depending on his territories. Um, hopefully, White will take for... We'll go for Spain now. And then I'll hit I'll hit him with an attack Blue. So it's because, because the way this game shaped up and three people have already left, and that's what happens in Risk, it happens. Um, and because of the way the bots are, it, it turns into a three-player game with three bots. And we have to play around that. 
So the best thing I can do in that scenario is make an alliance and honor that. So immediately I ally white. He actually hits first, great on him. And uh, so I have to show him goodwill, right? So I didn't, I didn't the first turn. I had to, I wanted to get this situation. I had to get the purple cap. But once I did, now I'm showing him good faith. Blue, tra blue didn't even trade there. What's his dice look like? Bad. Yep. Black's gone now. Black gets last place. He was the first person to lose connection, I guess. Interesting. So okay, blue takes that. He's uh, he's hurting. He started with nine troops. I can go in and break that again. I can also start fighting white. I could try to 1v2 them. The downside is blue and white kind of exist over here. So if they do trade, they can find ways into breaking me. But if they don't, I do have uh, quite the damaging pass to them. Okay, purple's now gone as well as two. So black got sixth. Now purple's also got... Uh... Okay, so this is very stupid. I mean, I guess I could say very stupid, but I could just break him. Now you never get that bonus again. But now I don't have enough troops to actually break blue the way I want to. Huh. Okay, let's do this then. We didn't trade for that. Let's go this way. There you go, white. How about that? White's got a trade, but now he never gets this bonus again. You break the person that's got a cat pointing at your bonus, it's just you're never going to get the bonus again. Never. And the reason I hit blue is because blue's already I, blue's already got me as an enemy, right? They might have allied and started deciding the team on me. Blue, blue might come right through here and hit my 10. I might be in a lot of trouble now. He's attacking fast. Bad dice? Or takes it and chills. Offer white an alliance. He's guarding that. That's a really good guard. Now I'd actually have to go through a 1 and a 7 to actually break him. If white quits, if I just bullied white out of the game and he, he gets a dude trade... Good, so he's not gonna get this uh, capital off me. Blue can't really get through here. Goes back to cap, cool, I break you again. Get 21. I need to keep the pressure on blue and I, I can probably just get white out of the game pretty easy. So let's keep the pressure on blue. Kinda wanna knock him out of here too. Need one, two, three attacks. Something like this. No, you don't. Knock blue out of here. Okay. Blue gets 12 still. I have no trade on three. He retakes bad dice. Uh, he gets in this time. Bad dice? Seven on four? Okay. He gets one break, but that's it. But I did get some territories off that. And I leave the three in white's face. Yeah. It's possible white doesn't even get this bonus with a, a seven on three. True random. Mm -hmm. Ember the Frosty, you, you started it. And you probably needed to team with blue. Like, I, he probably did need to team with blue there. But because everybody's pretty much a bot, like, you can already see MIA, MIA, MIA. It's a three-player game. And it's a negotiation game, so teamwork will win it. And I wanted to teamwork with white, but obviously I was getting too strong too quick in that scenario. I, I, I focused on getting strong quick because black was going to be very strong, right? He was going to use this bonus to take Russia and get huge. So I was going to have this position. And I had to take this cap. Yeah, yeah. White's going to quit. Now I'm in a 1v1 with blue. So that's how fast this game could turn. 
It's going to put us 13 wins in the loss if I can take this uh, over blue. Because it looks like white's quitting. He's going to baby out now. He, he made one attempt to break me, and then I broke him back. And then he tried to retake, and then I broke him back, and he's done. So now we just continue to send blue. We get more troops to turn than blue, so we should be able to beat him. Unless he gets better dice and better cards than me. Because I have a better position, and I get more troops to turn. And I can actually come off this cap quite heavily if he's actually gone. Which means I can use those troops into blue. I can fully invest. It means blue can also take uh, Spain, though. Oh, bad dice. Oh! Okay, let's do one more territory here. Nope. <clears throat> My dice, dude. Huh. I leave a 10 cap because I don't think white's coming back. If white comes back and has a big set and rolls the 10 cap and gets really good dice, then I'm screwed. But I think he's gone. I think we can call him a quitter and gone. Okay, 23 with a big trade coming in the back. And god dice, god dice, does he take my capital? No, splits. He's just going for breaks. That was a really good play. 12 on 7 is bad. That's not the play. You want to break this. Yes. And good dice. And comes in. Okay. That was really good. And I have a crappy set. Wow. So not only did he have, as I said, I should beat him unless he gets God dice and better cards than me. So he got the big trade. And I have the six trade. And his dice, zero on a two, zero on a three. He had to go through five bot troops, lost zero. Zero on me, two on a one, two on a two, zero on a one, six on my 10, zero on a one. He got decent, he got pretty, he got pretty decent dice on me, and then he also got God Dice going through the bot, so. I still get 10. Okay, I have to I have to send with everything. Do I come off the seven cap? No. White, oh yeah, white's officially gone now. So we're in the 1v1. Uh, do I come off this? Yeah, I think so. I gotta, I gotta break him as much as I can. And I lost that seven on three, minus six, right? That was also horrendous. Lose a three on one, lose a three on one, exactly. Horrendous. Um, let's do this. Okay, I got some breaks in. That one worked. Uh, he doesn't have a trade on two. Let's go, what? Here? I would have got a big trade if I could have held off, but I couldn't. So he gets 12. What did I start with there? I started with 10, even with all that broken. Can he break me with everything? Perfect dice, perfect dice. Loses one. Perfect dice. Quite the 1v1, man. And he's not even investing to try to get Spain, because if, if any troops he doesn't use up here is, is potential danger. He wants to guard with an eight and hope I get a bad roll on it. Okay. Well, I get eight troops from my territory and seven from the bonus and two from my cap. I can, I can make a 19 stack, right? I think that's what I can make. God, what I would give to be able to knock these two blue ones out. And he might get a big trade on three here, which would actually screw me again. Let's try this. Let's see if I can get those out with a five and then do this. Okay, good. Zero on his eight, GG. I still can't get through fucking Iceland. His, his dice, dude? What the hell? No trade on three. Does he have a big trade on three? 50 to 51. It's so close, man. It all comes down to dice and card luck. Okay, he's coming through the top. Bad dice, bad dice. No, good dice, good dice, good dice. Bad dice? No, I get smoked on his three stack. He fuck. Oh! Dude! Uh, well, I got eight from territory and two. Uh, I can make a 12. He didn't take all this, though. He didn't take it back. So with 12, can I actually get all this out? I also have to be worried about him 10 with a big trade, making a 20-something and taking the cap. If he takes my cap, I'm in trouble. I think that's why he's got the four here. His next turn plan is to trade off this four and take my seven cap. 
So I have to come out here and then guard my seven cat. I probably also want to take out Iceland. Still start with 12. Um, 22 territories, 47. Like, I, I, I am in the lead. It's just, it's t he's not making it easy. He really is not. You'd think breaking Iceland is probably key here, but I do really need to get him away from this cat. Let's try this. Good. Ah, oh, I lost the last one, though. Eight cap. 11 and a trade, 21. Eight cap, true random. I have no trade on four. Unbelievable. If he has a big trade here, I might lose. All you need to do is break the balance like one time. Okay, he's coming in. Fortunately, he doesn't have a trade either. Bad dice. Bad dice. This is it. This guy, this guy knows how to play. Like Gideon Singh, he knows what he's doing. Trying to hit a bunch of territories? That means his cap's vulnerable. Like, I have a second cap, but he's got Iceland. So, like, that's the trade-off right here. He's on 44 to my 40, but I'm about to get 8, 10, 12 again. But at this point, what do I take Iceland from him, too? I have to be very careful with this cap and this cap. Do I try a 5-on-2 for Iceland? I mean, I keep getting screwed for it. And I try an 8-on-3 here. I don't like that either. I'm not going to 3-on-1 that. No, I should. He's got fucking 18. Let's try this 3-on-1. Second biggest trade, okay? He gets 11, but I do have a second biggest trade. He can make a 21. Do you, do you have a bad trade? I'm only two troops up on him. Okay, he does get the uh, the big trade. 22 comes in. I, if he rolls the cap, I hope he gets bad dice. There it is, good game. You shouldn't have rolled the cap. You don't roll a cap in true random to try to get a better position. Oh. He's trying to get this bonus too? No. <clears throat> GG. Woo! Now he's gonna, yeah. Now you might as well hit everything you, I, you, I've got over there and then just pray I get the worst dice ever coming in. And that I have a dude trade. Is manual in? Oh, you're switching to manual now? Just go. Give it, give it. Give it to what you've got, bro. Okay. So white's gonna end up getting third. Blue has to stick out until white flags. If blue quit now, blue would get third, white would get second. Actually, if blue just fully quit now, I think the game almost... No, it wouldn't end because white's not a flag yet. Once he changes to a flag. So my, my game plan this turn is very easy. I just do this. Oh, white's an official flag now. Now he can quit. Good game. Good game. You can see white now, uh, MIA. The four MIAs. That's what happens with online risk. People are just quitters. Blue can officially just quit and accept second place. But if he wants to see my rank, which you could probably guess I'm a grandmaster, I would guess he's high. Then uh, I need to kill him. He's making me kill him. I think he's just making it easy for me to kill him. So, uh... Because once I kill him, the game won. End him in Portugal. Good game, well played. Like, it's just unfortunate for him. He was on the receiving end of some bull crap. We'll take it. He had no trade. I had all the dude cards. They were mine. Very nice. So 13 and 1 in these settings. 13 wins, 1 loss. I, obviously, that doesn't feel good as a great win, but I can't control a game where people lose.
I beat a grandmaster in, in the 1v1 at the end there, right? So we had a grandmaster, two uh, beginners, a novice, and an intermediate. And it just, it's extremely unfortunate that people just fucking don't stick it out for risk games, man. It is what it is. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, we had a, a three-player bit of a game, and then I forced white out, and then I went into that 1v1 with blue. I'm very glad that I turned on blue. Turned on him. I, I started hitting him when I did. I definitely needed to. Anyways, if you got more time for risk today, I've got more risk every single day on both my channels. Check them out. Please subscribe if you're new here, and I will catch you in the next one.